Today, I am going to be showing you how to buy and install the digital versions of The Sims 4 using Origin or Steam on PC or Mac and natively on PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones. Let's get into it. Hi, I am Weezer and welcome back to We Sims. I am a longtime simulation and strategy gamer with a big love for computers. And here on We Sims, I help simmers navigate the more technical side of things with guides, fixes, and recommendations. This video is the second part in my Sims newbie series, which is a complete ultimate beginner's guide to The Sims 4, where I break down step by step the different parts in acquiring and playing the game. As mentioned, today we are going to be getting into how to buy and install The Sims 4. And guess what? I will be buying and installing The Sims 4 for this video on different platforms to illustrate examples so we can do it together. But before we get into this, disclaimer. If you are assuming that you can play The Sims 4 base game on your device, but have not actually confirmed it objectively and empirically, I would highly recommend I would require actually you to check out the first video in this series where I show you how to check whether your device is able to run The Sims 4 and whether it's able to run it at minimum or recommended settings. If there's a computer that you are interested in, you can very much use the specs that you are interested in and compare them and go through the same process that I outlined in that video and I will link that over here. If you have watched that video and you can confirm that your device can indeed run The Sims 4, then let's get into the different ways that you can buy and install The Sims 4 on your respective device. So first off, it is very important to understand that playing The Sims 4 requires a key ingredient. And that key ingredient is The Sims 4 base game. The base game is the core of the game and it is what is going to allow you to play the expansion game and stuff packs, which is also known as DLC. And it is therefore possible to play The Sims 4 without any DLC, but you cannot play the DLC without having The Sims 4 base game. There are two versions of the base game that are currently available digitally. They are the standard edition of The Sims 4, as well as the Digital Deluxe Edition. The Digital Deluxe Edition includes a digital version of The Sims 4's game soundtrack, as well as some extra content for your Sims, uh, namely the Life of the Party uh, pack, as well as awesome animal hats and the Apple Night DLC packs. So these are digital download exclusives. The next important concept to understand about The Sims 4 is that there are two ways to acquire the base game. You can either buy to own or pay to play. And essentially what this means is that you can pay the price of the base game, like its retail price, and own it yourself. So it is in your collection and you can play it whenever you like without any limits or restrictions. Or you could use the EA Play subscription service where you will not pay the full price of the base game and instead you will pay a relatively cheaper monthly subscription fee that would essentially be to rent the game. Keep in mind then that you would not own the base game and if you were to cancel your EA Play subscription your access to the base game would be revoked as well. However any DLC that you do purchase is yours and is still part of the buy to own model. I would only recommend going the EA Play route if you are a very intensive, serious variety gamer interested in playing other games on the official playlist. That's how you're going to get the most value for your money. I will leave a link to the features that EA Play offers in the description, but for the most part, if all you want to play is The Sims 4, the cost of the game and the DLC versus the cost of what an EA Play membership would be is not high enough value for me to recommend that every simmer who only plays the sims should go this route. So therefore in this guide I'm going to be taking you through the buy to own route. The next concept to understand is digital versus physical copies of the game. There are two official ways to install the sims 4 on your device as well as its DLC, the principles are the same, and that is to either have a physical copy of the game, which is less common these days, or a digital download, which is by far the most common. Digital downloads are the easiest, most widely used ways to acquire the game, but CDs do have their place if you can access them and have a poor or limited internet connection that would require you to install the game directly from the CD. Or you're like me and you like to collect physical copies. So this guide will therefore be covering the digital download to The Sims 4. So. Let's get into the 
the the how to the step by step the reason you're here but I had to go through all of that a very important theory to understand what it is that we're doing here so the most common way to buy and install the sims 4 is through a digital distribution platform and what that essentially is is a program that allows you to buy and play games for computers, the options for The Sims 4 and its DLC are Origin. On the 15th of September, Electronic Arts, i.e. EA, announced that they would be dropping the name Origin and changing it to the EA desktop app. This guide should remain applicable irrespective of the name of the program and I will post any updates should there be any to the process and Steam. On the PlayStation 4, this platform is directly built into the PlayStation Store. And for Xbox One, it is built into the Microsoft Game Store. EA has a lovely landing page that we're going to be starting this step-by-step -step guide on, irrespective of your platform. And each of those links is what I'll be taking you through, whether you have a computer or PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. You can definitely check out the timestamps here or the little chapters that should be popping up at the bottom of this video right now to see where I will be covering your relevant platform. So computers. There aren't significant differences between Windows and Mac in terms of buying and installing The Sims 4. So these methods are applicable to both devices. The first step is to decide whether you want to use Origin or Steam. This wasn't really a question until recently when The Sims 4 was released on Steam, but essentially the difference between the two is that Origin is owned by EA and EA are the publishers of The Sims 4 and is therefore natively integrated into the game. Steam, however, is a much more widely used platform. Many different publishers are on there and there's a gr much greater diversity of games as well as more community features. As a side, it is also where Paralypse will be launching when it does eventually release. However, irrespective of the platform that you decide to pick, you will need an Origin slash EA account to play The Sims 4 and use its online features. And that is for the reasons that I've mentioned before. It is integrated into the game because it is EA's game. So. To help you make this decision, a good rule of thumb is essentially that if you have a low-end computer, rather just go with Origin, because in order to run The Sims 4 through Steam, both Steam as well as Origin need to be running in the background while you're playing The Sims 4. I did some quick maths on my computer and tried to run them all at the same time, and it came to about two and a half gigabytes of RAM. And if your laptop has about four gigabytes of RAM, which is the minimum recommended amount, that's a lot of your RAM going towards it. So rather just not use Steam and rather just go directly on Origin, it will just be a little bit less of a burden on your computer. The reason you maybe should consider Steam, even, even with that, is that Steam has way more sales and way more generous sales, to be honest, than Origin slash EA. I would definitely recommend it if you are looking to either save money while you buy the games or if you are interested in the other community aspects of Steam. Now let's get The Sims 4 onto your computer. First is to select your chosen platform from this landing page. So we're starting with computers, so Origin and Steam, and I'll be going through both of them. Then you're gonna be taken to a new page this new page will give you the option of deciding between the deluxe and the standard edition. Here the deluxe goes through everything I've already said, as well as shows you the price and it is on dramatic sale at the moment, still not as good as Steam sale. This actually doesn't matter at this point, but you can go through and compare it, it's just more for marketing, but we're going to go through to the Origin website here. For Origin, you will be redirected to a create an account or sign on screen for your EA account. And you will then subsequently go through to the Origin store and you will land on The Sims 4's product page. So I already own a higher edition of this game. I, I actually own the collector's edition, which was a pre-order exclusive back in 2013. So that is why it's showing me this, but I will actually be buying a pack for the sake of demonstrating in this video. I'll be buying Nifty Knitting and instead of landing on Nifty Knitting's page, you will land on The Sims 4's page, but it's the exact same process. This would not pop up for you. What would, however, pop up for you is the game that you decide to buy. And at this point on The Sims 4, if you were to say buy now, you would have the option of selecting either the standard edition or the digital deluxe edition and then deciding to go with EA Play or not. From here, you click the buy now button. Here on The Sims 4 Nifty Knitting, I go to the buy now button, much like before. And you're then going to be taken through to a payment information screen and I will add my payment information now. Cool. So at this point I've inserted my payment information 
and I am here to review the order. You will then see The Sims 4 Standard or Digital Deluxe Edition. I have here The Sims 4 Nifty Knitting and then I just click pay now. You're awesome. Thanks for your purchase. Thanks Origin. You will then get this saying a receipt will be emailed to your email address, download or launch Origin to play. You will then jump over to this screen over here and it will be time to download the Origin client. So if you're on Windows or Mac, you then click download. This then downloads Origin. And once it is downloaded and you have opened it, signed in with your EA account, automatically you should see like right here that the new game that you just purchased is already downloading and will install automatically. And voila, you should almost be able to play your new game awesome. The principles for Steam are very similar. So over here, instead of selecting Origin, we're going to go to Steam. Steam is then going to load up this page, which is the exact same as the Origin one, and it will still highlight Origin here. But what you will do is you're going to ignore that. You're going to jump over here to Steam. This is the Steam product page. And you'll see here that EA Play, and I think I forgot to mention this earlier, EA Play is accessible to Windows, Xbox One, as well as PlayStation 4, not Macs. So um, it is universal across most of the platforms. Uh, buy to own, however, is fine for everyone. Here you can see that when you want to buy The Sims 4, you will be shown all your options for base game. And then this is all the downloadable content. Moving over here, I'm going to add The Sims 4 Digital Deluxe Edition to my cart. I'm gonna click here to purchase for myself you can purchase as gifts for both Origin and Steam. You will then be taken to a page where you can sign into an existing Steam account or create a new account, much like the Origin page, just a different place in the process. Then to log in and you'll be taken to a payment page. And at this point is where you put in your payment information. Once you've added your card, you will then be able to agree to the terms of the Steam subscriber agreement. And we're gonna hit purchase. Thank you for your purchase. An email confirmation has been sent to you. Any digital items in this order are now registered with your account on Steam and to access it, simply visit your library in Steam whenever you're ready. Then you can install Steam. So you go here to know I need Steam. If you don't, you'd have it on your computer and it will actually just automatically download it straight. And if you then Install Steam. So this is how it will look. It'll usually have like a pop-up. This will be available to you once you've logged in with your new account into the app. Then an installation for The Sims 4. This might pop up or it will be just a page that you go to specifically. So you're about to install The Sims 4. You can create a desktop shortcut, create a start menu short up, s s shortcut, disk space required, 15 gigabytes, disk space available, to 215 gigabytes, estimated download time one day at that speed. So I have terrible internet, so I'm just gonna carry on here. Agree, and it is now downloading and installing The Sims 4. For console, the steps are very similar to that for PC, if anything, even more simplified. So you're going to need to choose straight up here, are you gonna be playing on an Xbox, are you gonna be playing on an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4? Very standard, so here I'll open up the Xbox One page and select your standard or uh, the it says here Deluxe Party Edition, it's basically the Digital Deluxe Edition. You will then go through to the Microsoft Store page. Here is where you then click the Buy button and then you will be redirected to your console's official store login area, which will be the same account that you use to log into your console's actual account. Once logged in, you enter your payment information and once your transaction goes through, the game will be added to your library. The next time you start your console, you will automatically start downloading and installing The Sims 4 to your device. You can rinse and repeat all of these steps for all of these platforms, for all of the DLC, like I showed in the Nifty Nutting example. Today's question of the day is, do you buy packs that you specifically enjoy, or are you more of a collector who wants to complete the collection irrespective of the packs that you like? No shame in either. I've been on both sides of that fence. Let me know your responses in the comments. I look forward to reading them. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next upload of this series as well as some other cool content I have lined up for you. If you want to hang out outside of these videos, I am live every week on Twitch 
link in the description as well as my stream schedule will be over on Twitch. So definitely have a look there and hopefully I'll see you there as well. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Silsil, a chocolate cake like a from scratch. And it wasn't me lactose free, right? What? No, guys. Marissa. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, oh gosh. Thank you, Mar oh wow, guys. Thank you. I don't know, what else do I say? You're there with some posy you've been waiting to subscribe to me. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it.